Unbelievable. I just spent 10 minutes recording the best thing about this Bonzo Bash that I went to last last um, Saturday night. I went to Kansas the Friday night before. Had a picture taken, all these pictures taken. Friday night with Richard Williams from this guy. Never sent it to me, these pictures taken. Saturday, with tons of this dude, Wayne, who invited me. He's from San Diego. He came down a plus one, you know, to let me go to the show. And all these pictures of all these great drummers. How did I just, I just erased ten minutes of the coolest video you've ever seen in your, in your, all of your lives. Anyways, I met the original drummer, Corky Lang, who was there at this Bonzo Bash at B-Pack Saturday night. And he thought I was Eddie Trunk. He goes, Eddie, you know, I gotta, you got to put me on your show and all this and stuff. I said, put me on your show, man. What are you talking about, brother? Damn. All this stuff. I can't believe he thought I was Eddie Trunk. So uh, there's a lot of stories now I'm going to forget because there was a lot of cool things that went down. I, back when, um, A.J. Perro, the drummer from Twisted Sister, was there. And I told him that me and a friend, Vinny, uh, drove a, uh, guitar player, Eddie Ojeda, the guitar player, Twisted Sister, home. This was doing, they were down there locked about 1989. 90, 88, 89, 90, somewhere in there. We drove him home to his place back in Suffern. That was kind of cool talking to him. But uh, there were tons of drummers and legends and legendary cult type drummers. And like I said, I'm really pissed off right now because I just erased 10 minutes of very cool, funny footage. Hysterical. So hysterical that I saw this in the paper by Macy's. Can you believe this? Check this out, everybody. Let's see. Le Macy's last four day drug ten set man sixty five sixty to seventy five percent off. I don't do drugs. Anyways, Peter Chris was there, the original Kiss drummer. He was kind of cold. He wouldn't really stop. He gave the award to Corky Lang for uh, you know honorable drummer or whatever for the sponsor of best. Corky Lang was the original drummer in a band called Mountain that Leslie West was in. Felix Papalotti. Uh, a lot of cool people were there. Jerry Gasco from King's X, Carl Wilcox from Diamond Head, Bob Pantella, um, of course Brian Tishy who plays everything, drums, guitars, kind of legendary. He plays with White Snake, I believe Ozzy, Billy Idol. Uh, Eddie Trunk opened the show, of course. He was talking and talking and talking and being a male yanta and ba da ba da ba. Yeah. Ron of Nikki from Overkill, Danny Schuler, of course Corky Lang, like I said, I'm going to show you the autographs in a second. Uh, who else was there? Man, I had so many good stories and I'm now I'm really upset because I forgot like 90% of them that I just said. But uh, it was a cool thing. Like I said, a few weeks ago I saw Paul Rogers open at Bergen Pack in Englewood, New Jersey. Uh, he did a lot of Bad Company free songs. Then I saw last Friday night, Kansas. Like I said, I had a picture with uh, uh, Richard Williams, a.k.a. Moshe Diane. Hello. You know, this. Hello. Sort of like Captain Hook, Dr. Hook of the general. No offense to him, but, uh, what's the letter of the Rolling Stone? Rolling Stone, gotta get my picture on the cover. Leave alone my old school mother. Man, speaking of mothers, there were a lot of chicks backstage, a lot of roving chicks, but they were all taken. They were all these big dudes. They weren't only just drummers, they were lead singers. A lead singer from Adrenaline Mob, I couldn't forget when I gave him a business card, and I saw it on the ground a few minutes later. The singer and drummer from Adrenaline Mob were there. Who else? I didn't go to the Randy Rhodes thing Wednesday. I watched the Ranger game and the Yankees, but... I should have gone to that thing, too. But, uh, like I said, you had Brian Tishy, Mr. Whitesnake, Mr. Mr. Uh, Idol, Mr. Ozzy playing drums and guitar, and all these guys, like I mentioned. Joe Franco, not Franco Sanitation, Joe Franco from the Good Rats, and played with Twisted Sister and Dee Snyder, and uh, John Hummel, Lady Gaga's drummer. Got him a business card. Gave everyone a business card there, actually. And, uh, I can't believe I'm forgetting all these great comedy stories I have, but I am forgetting them. I will show you in a second what all the autographs look like. Uh, Corky Lane, of course, like I said, thought I was Eddie Trunk. Maybe he thought he had junk in his trunk, but I don't think I'm Eddie Trunk, and I'm not a monk, and I, I didn't stink or stunk, or, you know, sleeping bed bunk. No, I was not a dunk, band dunk from the Maha, Mawa Indians. Uh, Jackson White's, no, I wasn't a dunk, or I wasn't playing funk that night, 
wiping off gunk from my car. Chicks do think I'm a hunk, which is an old expression, but sometimes they say I was a lunk until I hurt my neck, and then I became a monk, a Buddhist monk, and I listened to a lot of uh, punk rock. They say I may have stunk, but uh, I don't know. Wonk, young, zunk. Anyways, um, what else did I have to say? Can you believe that, man? Me and my friend A.J. Perro was there, his family there, his daughter. I gave his daughter a business card she was going to give it to him. I told A.J. the story about it. Like I said, Eddie Ojeda from Twisted Sister. Me and a friend of mine drove him home back in the late 80s, early 90s from uh, Izod Center, which used to be called something else. And that was kind of cool. Uh, this is like a fun evening, man. Like I said, the bonds are best. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. We got stuff, we got stuff, we got stuff. Mr. Brian Tishy! Eddie Trunk opened the whole deal, you know, talking. And the had Chaz, who I think is doing a better job than Robert Plant. He's a cooler guy than Robert Plant now. Robert Plant yelled at me, Meg, go away! This is at the Monkey Bar. In 2012, when I met all three original guys in Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, John Paul Jones, Robert Plant, no joke. And uh, Robert Plant was kind of nasty, you know what I mean? I waited, I was patient, I didn't bother him when he was around anybody. He was like too busy networking, kissing ass to all these rich jewelry people at this bar. I guess they were the top record company people, these snobby Park Avenue people. Uh, How you doing? Go away, mate. Not now, mate. I said, all right, Robert. Yeah, you're so cool. I got, we got into a verbal spat, man, for a while, man. I kind of threw myself out from the club. Thought about going back in, but then this black, old black security was like, no, you're not going back in. But they didn't actually physically throw me out. I threw myself out. And then, of course, Joan Jett was at the bar. I didn't know it was Joan Jett because she was talking to me, looking in a different direction when I entered the bar originally. And we were having, like, this conversation. You never even have conversations with people that are not looking at you, in my case. And who else was there? Uh, Kirk Hammett, Chad Smith. Um, not Mrs. Smith, my old nurse. Like I said, everyone, the very exciting event going on at Macy's. Look at this. We're 40, the last four days, we're 46 drug ten cell. Parents of it. No, I don't do drugs. I don't do any Gentile drugs. I don't. And of course, I got a picture with Captain Hook on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone. Wanna see my picture on the cover of a road? And they don't send me any of these pictures anymore, these photographers. No picture sent to me from Richard Williams. No picture. Even Wayne, the old school Wayne, who invited me to the show, man. All he took tons of pictures with, with you know Jerry Gaskill and and Carl Wilcox and Corky Lang and and just A.J. Pirro and Zach Alford. No, I don't know about Zach Alford. Zach Alford was cool actually. David Bowie's drummer. He said, "I'll check out your YouTube, man. Your whole world. And see, he played with. I played on Earthling in the next day, I believe." Uh, who else was here? Will Calhoun from Living Color was cool. Networked with him. Talked about Vernon Reed, Corey Glover. Man, what a band. Living Color, 1989. I had the promo album from uh, Cult of Personality. I think it was called Vivid. And You Can Dear Letter to a Landlord. That was a good song. There were tons of good songs on that. Bobby Rondelli. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I didn't realize he had played before. Uh, and I asked him, why aren't you playing, Bob? He goes, you're weird. You're a jerk, man. You didn't know I just played for an hour? I didn't. I was actually partying backstage. I didn't know. I'm sorry, Bobby. And, of course, we can't forget Richie Rano, one of the original crazy people of all time. I thought I'd do Richie a favor by asking for his autograph to boost his ego. You can tell that to Lars Ulrich. Ulrich. And here's his uh, autograph. I did him a major favor here. See that? And then we have uh, the lead singer from Adrenaline Mob who happened to be there because he had another show. And who else do we got? I'll show you all these things quickly. The dry, David Bowie's drummer, and we got Brian Tishy from Whitesnake. Uh, who else is this upside down? Typo Negative drummer. I better hurry up with this here. I didn't show you the Corky Lang thing. That's too damn. It looks like it's in Greek, hieroglyphics, or Arabic, Aramaic. It looks like suck it, cell phone, Corey. No, I don't know what he said. There we go, Jerry Gastel, King's X. Joe Franco, Good Rats, thanks for writing over Jerry's name. Will Calhoun on the bottom. From Living Color. And who else, man? There's a lot of other stuff. We'll talk to you later. I don't want to miss out on this.